Hello kids, so today we are going to discuss regarding our senses, how we describe the events using our senses. So our aim is to describe events and scenes, whatever the scene we had seen, maybe at present or previously, whatever the scenes or events which happened, that we must explain them using the details from the senses, you know what are the senses. Senses are nothing but what we see, what we smell, what we hear, what we taste and what we feel. So these are the five things which we feel with our senses and which we describe by using our senses. Now see, if we take the widow's lesson only, so from the first page that is page number 67, the road into the T estate got worse and worse. How we are is able to explain that the roads get worse into worse so that is just because he can see the roads even when he is passing by the throughput the vehicle will be moving even a blind even a blind those who doesn't have the eyes when passing through a smooth road and passing through a road that is really very worse he is able to guess why how so that is just because of the senses of feeling so he can feel that and the village roads while going through the village roads people those who are blind they can say that some animals might be passing that way or something just because of some dung smell is there yes if the dung is there so if they put the dung there you can see the smell of the dung the cow waste whatever is there just by the smell they can say that okay they might have passed even by the sounds made by the animals so they can guess what is going on there so this all can be explained only just through the senses so while writing some passages while explaining about something maybe you might be explaining in a letter maybe you are writing a passage or something an incident if they ask you to explain in the form of a letter a passage or anything maybe now or in future you want to try to explain them by using your senses. Think that you are there, then how you feel. So by, by seeing what you see there, what you smell there, what you hear there, what you taste and how you feel if you are present in that area. Yes. Now see, there was no television at night and most city kids found the sounds of the forest frightening. So they are saying that the sounds of the forest are frightening. How come they say that the sounds of the forest are frightening? See, already they might be knowing, they might have seen the animals, maybe the sound made by the animals. They know they, that they are very wild, they are very cruel just by seeing them maybe in the TV because we never went to the forest how the animals are there. Just by seeing from the TV or from the geographic channel somewhere you might be knowing that the lion and some other wild animals, how they kill. So just once, once you had seen those, normally you will be frightened. That's what you feel just by seeing. When you hear that sound, really the three senses, see the sight you had seen, the feeling you have and the sound you are hearing all together they make you frightened. Not only one sense is working here, all the three senses are going to work. Even when you see if you go to some place, the delicious smell, the food smell of something which comes to you, just by, it doesn't mean by one sense. You will see that, you can feel it just by your nose, you can smell it, then automatically water comes from your when you eat it how is your feeling really a happy feeling you can feel it yes so all the senses work together now these senses we must be able to explain when we see an event whatever you are seeing what you are seeing what you are tasting what you are smelling what you are hearing and how is your feeling at that time? These all must be remembered and basing on that you want to try to write something. Now, when we take these senses along with the comparison, that is with similes and metaphors. If we compare with similes and metaphors. So, you know what are similes and what are 
my daughter. So if I say it's English, if I see the smell of something, so I can say it smells like a. So if you want to compare it with a good smell or a bad smell, the dish, the dish. So the dish smells like a rotten egg. Do you know what is this type? So I am comparing here the dish I am comparing with a rotten egg. What is a rotten egg? Is it a good smell or bad smell? So it gives very pungent, very bad, bad smell. So I am comparing the dish means it might be spoiled. The dish is spoiled. That's why the smell is like a, a rotten egg. So I can say the dress is as beautiful as a rainbow. So here I am comparing it with a rainbow. I am comparing the dress with. So how come I compare the dress? I am comparing but just by saying. So I can say that the dress I saw. The dress I saw is as beautiful as a rainbow. So here I am using the senses I saw, and here I am using the smells. Means that I am telling that I am smelling it. So both I am using at a time. The simile as well as the senses. Both I am using at a time. So you can use whatever you are learning. The basics, whatever you are learning, you can use in the paragraphs, in the in the in the paragraphs to write uh, some poem or to explain as a letter. Any way you can use these similes and senses and even the order words, and you can write very beautifully. Okay. Now, based on this, let us write our volume page number thirty one. Details from the senses. Now, if you go through the details from the senses, you can see that you want to read the paragraph and underline the details that appeal to the senses. Means, he held the boy's thin forearm with his coarse hands and took him up the creaking wooden stairs. Here, the dean said exactly that uh, I am seeing, I am touching, I am smelling, but something which are the things. used to see which are for feeling which are for tasting which are for hearing the main words are used here how come we feel how come we taste how come we hear basing on this the words are there so try to underline the words the details that appeal to the senses means how we can feel them basing on that you can underline Now rewrite the paragraph to describe the scene and events using details from the senses. So you want to read that paragraph and describe the scene and events using the details. So you can enlarge, you can extend the given sentences just that you are seeing and how you are feeling through your senses. Basing on that, you try to extend the sentences which is given. and write them in the given lines now you can go for the third question write two sentences describing a walk down the street on a rainy day think that on a rainy day you are walking down the street and you want to use a detail from any one of the senses only one sense not all the senses so you can use only one sense and you want to compare it by similes or a metaphor so comparison also is compulsory you can compare the rain or the streets or anything with any other thing and you can complete your volume page number 31 and send it to whatsapp okay children thank you